Welcome back to the Azure VMware Solution Technical Overview Series. In this module, we'll cover workload and application mobility with VMware HCX. With VMware HCX, you can migrate your VMware workloads from your on-premises data centers running vSphere 6.0 and above to Azure VMware Solution and other connected sites through various migration methods. The HCX Cloud Manager can be automatically deployed and configured via the Add-ons tab in the Azure portal once your AVS private cloud is deployed. Afterwards, you simply need to download, activate, and configure the HCX connector in your on-premises VMware environment. HCX creates a secure, bi-directional connection between the environments and brings a wealth of features, including built-in VPN with Suite B encryption, traffic engineering, WAN optimization, deduplication and compression, layer 2 extension capabilities, and various migration methods. A site pair establishes the connection needed for management, authentication, and orchestration of HCX services across source and destination environments. HCX supports up to 25 site pairs with connectivity via Azure ExpressRoute, VPN, and SD-WAN. HCX Advanced Licensing is included with AVS, however, at this time, Microsoft is running a special promotion. HCX Enterprise will be included at no additional cost until October 1st of 2022. The advanced licensing includes cold and live migrations of workloads from on-premises to AVS utilizing vMotion. These migrations run in a serial fashion, meaning one at a time. Bulk migration allows customers to migrate hundreds of VMs in parallel. This does require a reboot, however, migrations can be scheduled so that they can occur during a maintenance window. HCX provides Layer 2 extension of networks from on-premises to the cloud to facilitate workload migrations without the need to re-IP, and also provides WAN optimization between on-premises and AVS, plus deduplication and compression, reducing the bandwidth and time for the data replication and migration. Lastly, the advanced license allows customers to take advantage of HCX DR capabilities to protect workloads. HCX Enterprise brings all of the same features of the advanced license plus additional capabilities that some customers might require. There are two additional migration types. OS-assisted migration provides bulk migration of non-vSphere virtual machines such as KVM and Hyper-V, and replication-assisted vMotion combines bulk migration with vMotion providing parallel operations, resiliency, scheduling, and zero downtime. Mobility groups allow you to identify and logically group the VMs together for migration, while Mobility Optimized Networking provides intelligent optimized routing for extended networks from on-premises to the cloud. This ensures that traffic is not routed back on-premises once workloads are migrated to the cloud, which can cause inefficiencies and latency issues. Lastly, the Enterprise License brings optimized DR protection by providing HCX integration with VMware Site Recovery Manager. Here we have a nice breakdown of the migration types available with each HCX license. With HCX Advanced, you can take advantage of cold migration, which requires downtime, and HCX vMotion, which does not require downtime. However, both of these uh, migration methods only allow you to migrate VMs one at a time. Bulk migration allows you to migrate more than one VM at a time and takes advantage of vSphere replication to replicate the VMs ahead of time. So once replicated, minimal downtime is required to power down the VM and power it up at the destination. With HCX Enterprise, we also introduce RAV, or Replication Assisted vMotion, which combines bulk migration with vMotion, allowing you to schedule multiple VM migrations with zero downtime. And we can also leverage OSAM, or OS Assisted vMotion, to migrate Hyper-V and KVM virtual machines and convert them to vSphere virtual machines. In this module, we covered HCX options for workload migration and compared the features of HCX Advanced versus Enterprise Editions. In the next module, we'll discuss AVS management and operations.